welcome. I'm Lawrence Fishburne. Every day, new ideas pave the way for a better tomorrow. In this story, we are highlighting some of the most interesting and innovative developments impacting the world around us. Here's one such example. Manchester Police 522. Yeah, hi. Um, I, I'm just picking up my daughter here from work, and there's this guy that's been like loitering around and hanging around. He's just acting weird. No one's come to pick him up. He keeps looking around over his shoulder. I don't know really exactly what he's up to. I'm gonna send an officer over to check on him for you. I'm at a soccer field. I don't really know where I'm at. I'm going to send uh, first aid and fire and police over to you right now, okay? Four zero two copies in route. When a call comes into dispatch, many times the caller or the victim is under a great deal of stress. And as a result of that, there can be a communication breakdown. And, it's, and the train, did it fall down onto I-5? I can't, I can't can tell. It looks like it. I okay. just saw a huge, I thought it was a mudslide, a huge cloud of mud and dirt came and hit my okay. car and spun me around. Our dispatchers are taxed with deciphering that information and then relaying it again to our officers prior to arrival. Unfortunately, many of the times that we arrive on scene, the scene is volatile and we realize that the caller's information may not be completely accurate. A lack of situational awareness can lead to an inappropriate response to any type of crisis or emergency situation. There can either be too few or too many resources that are directed to a scene. We want to have sight and sound and immediate feedback so that we can provide a picture as best as possible for those responders arriving on the scene. American public safety, specifically law enforcement, always looks to American military special operations group for the latest and greatest technology. Their use of ISR in war-torn areas has allowed commanders and operators to make better decisions to ongoing events. So in the UK, they have been leveraging similar technology to use live streaming video from the field. It allows them to provide live streaming video and location-based data back to the public safety telecommunicator's desktop so that they can have greater situational awareness to relay that information to the responders in the field. They have used this technology for several years. They have made great use of it to make the public safety arena much better in the UK, and that's the technology that we're bringing to the United States. Manchester Police, 522. I just hit a girl on, on a bicycle. When an emergency call comes into a dispatch center, that dispatcher has the opportunity to send a link to that person's phone via text. The witness opens up that link where they'll be live streaming the camera so the dispatcher can get greater situational awareness. Okay, I see exactly where you are, sir. In order to deploy the right resources to the right place at the right time. We're going to be able to fundamentally alter the way we respond to calls. It's going to take tell me something to show me something. Manchester Police, 522. Hi, I'm over at the library. It looks like there's a fight in the parking lot. Okay, sir, I'm just going to send a link to your cell phone. I have your number on my caller ID. If you, I could ask you to go ahead and activate that link and then click Start Video. Okay, I have it on now. Can okay. you see it? Yep, I see what you're looking at right now. Just make sure that you're in a safe location. Manchester 402-417, Manchester 402-417, for a fight in progress in front of the library. See a female dark colored hoodie with a hat, blue jeans, and a male, both Caucasian. Females assaulting the male, males trying to back away. Female keeps punching him in the face. Units are running. This tool, which is relatively inexpensive, is the most accurate way to precisely relay real-time information in the most simplistic way. It's important to note that nothing is saved to the witness's phone. The link is no longer accessible after that call, and we haven't altered that phone in any way. There's no app to download. It's a simple process without any training involved. The mission is to get a cost-effective, proven public safety technology into the hands of those who need it. It could be citizens, that could be public safety professionals, whether they're law enforcement, their fire, or their EMS staff. As a retired law enforcement officer, I want to now, in my current role, do everything I can to improve the technology, improve the product that's in the hands of those still serving in that career path so that they can provide effective services to the citizenry. We hope this program has served as an inspiration to you. 
Be sure to join us next time as we continue to profile the people and organizations impacting the world. I'm Lawrence Fishburne.